Hello guys, and welcome to another video on my channel Dragontastic. Guys, in today's video, I am going to discuss the previous few chapters of Dragon Ball Ultra Vegetal Manga, and will give you my thoughts on the ongoing arc. Before starting the review, I request you all, if you find the video interesting, please like the video, and leave a comment to start a conversation. Also, if possible, share the video with your friends. That would really help the channel a lot. So in the last few chapters, we are watching the fight between Light versus Seraphim Goku, True Demon Destruction Vegeta, Angelic Destroyer Broly, and Ikari Yamoshi. I am not fully sure what to call Yamoshi's latest form, but with yellow eyes, I think it should be some form of Ikari transformation. Our four heroes are fighting against Light, and somehow they were able to overpower the strongest member of the five. It is revealed that Light may be the strongest of the five, even without using his true powers, which means the powers that are locked away, and now have created an alter ego inside Light's mind, meaning Dark. Dark is said to be so much powerful that if he is fully unleashed, only the Grand Priest will be able to stop him. In the last 20 years of training, our heroes have gathered so much power Power, that they are able to challenge fifth strongest. Vegeta, Goku, Broly, and Yumoshi, and even Frieza were able to break their limits and gain the kind of powers that are never seen before. But, however great any story may be, it always has some loopholes. In the current chapters, I think Arj is trying to push the story toward its end. As previously, we used to get explanations from him for all kinds of forms, even Vegito getting a robotic arm has a whole arc. But in the last 10 to 15 chapters, we have seen so many new forms in Ultra Vegito story. However, we haven't gotten any explanation, which I think was the best part about the Ultra Vegito story. Now I hate to say this, but now we are seeing Dragon Ball Super Effect, Meaning, if I put this in Vegeta's word, new forms are now on bargain sale, and everyone gets a new form, which becomes the strongest for time being, and in just one to two chapters, that form becomes obsolete. A more thing that I noticed in the last few chapters is, that warriors that are on the battlefield are not present in manga. First is Frieza, who easily got overpowered by Light, and is not seen since Light cut his tail. Then after some chapter one also noticed that Yamoshi was not shown for a major part of the fight. I am not sure what's happening, but I am sure that story is much more near the end than I was previously thinking. Arge was very cautious about the small details, however, that is missing, since Vegito took Frieza inside the Pyramid of Power. However, I will still not say that everything is bad now. Arge beautifully captured a moment between Goku and Vegeta, when Vegeta tried to sacrifice his life for his friend and rival Goku. I would say that, no artist has ever done anything like this. That part of the manga was so beautiful for me as a fan, I truly loved it. That sacrifice from Vegeta was not only because Goku is his friend, that sacrifice had a lot behind. No other version of Vegeta will ever do anything like this for his version of Goku. This Vegeta has endured a lot with this Goku. They have spent more than two to three decades together. They have shared tragic losses together and are on a revenge mission. This version of Goku and Vegeta are more than friends and rivals. They are brothers bonded by tragic fate. Another thing that I liked was the relation of master and student shown between Yumoshi and Light. This was truly out of the blue. However, one question keeps bugging me. If Vegito absorbed Yumoshi, shouldn't he be able to access his memories? If yes, then why Vegito is not using that information? Or maybe he is already doing it all along. And that was his motivation to bring out everyone to train inside the Pyramid of Power. I think only Arch has all the answers, or maybe it will be revealed with time. The latest video revealed the arrival of Gogeta, which was totally out of the blue, as Vegito does not have his time rings now, so how was Gogeta able to come to Vegito's timeline? My guess would be that Gogeta was able to get his hands on a time ring in his timeline, and it was only luck that brought Gogeta to Vegito again, and that too within Pyramid of Power, but this is too convenient and straightforward, I would really want that, there is more to it than simple luck. I hope we will get answers to all these questions in upcoming chapters of Dragon Ball Ultra Vegito. Tell me in the comments, am I the only one thinking like this or you guys also liked and questioned those moments? One thing I can say for sure is that Ultra Vegito is currently the top fan manga in my books. I hope it continues even after Vegito gets his revenge. Hope you guys liked the video. Please like the video and share with your friends. I will meet you guys in my next video. Till then goodbye and take care.